My name is Dr. Raoul McLaughlin, and my subject is the Roman economy, including trade beyond the imperial frontiers. I have published several books on this subject. I am a member of the Council of the Classical Association of Northern Ireland. The question is, why were Roman copper coins beneath the ruins of a Japanese castle? The find was a collection of Roman Byzantine coins dating from 300 to 400 AD. The Eastern Roman Empire, with its capital at Constantinople, survived the collapse of Rome and the West in the 5th century. This Eastern Empire, known as Byzantium, incorporated the Balkans, Greece, Asia Minor, Syria and Egypt. The Sassanid Empire of ancient Persia restricted Byzantine access to the silk routes that led across Iran. But the Egyptian Red Sea ports gave these Eastern Romans another route to reach the markets of Southern Asia. A Byzantine merchant known as Cosmas in the sailed the Red Sea routes during the early 6th century AD and left an account of his commercial travels in a work known as a Christian topography. In AD 522, Cosmas travelled to the Ethiopian trade port of Adullus, where he spoke to Byzantine merchants who had visited the island of Sri Lanka. They provided him with a full account of the commerce conducted across southern Asia. Sri Lanka, on the southern tip of India, was centrally placed for Indian Ocean commerce, and therefore functioned as an intermediary market for merchants coming from many distant regions. Cosmos explains that The island is in a central position and is frequented by ships from all parts of India, Persia and Ethiopia. It sends out many of its own ships and from the most remotest countries, including China and other trading places, it receives silk, aloes, cloves, and sandalwood. Copper was in high demand as a trade commodity because it was used to manufacture rust-resistant metal fittings for ocean vessels, and Byzantine ships sailing to the island carried scrap metal batches of old Roman coinage. Confirmation of this trade comes from large hordes of late Roman copper coins discovered in southern India and Sri Lanka. The sailing route from Sri Lanka to China is described by a Chinese Buddhist monk named Faxian, who travelled to the island in AD 400 and later wrote an account of his travels called A Record of the Buddhist Kingdoms. Faxian reached India via the overland silk routes and spent two years in Sri Lanka before sailing on an Indian vessel headed for China. This large merchant ship carried 200 crew and passengers on a two-week sailing across to the Bay of Bengal. The pilots of these vessels had limited navigation techniques, and when sailing south around the Malay Peninsula, the ship was caught in a violent storm. After 90 days at sea, the damaged vessel made landfall on the island of Java. From there, Faxian was able to board another large Indian ship, sailing to China and after more than 80 days at sea with unfavourable wind conditions, they may landfall near Mount Lao on the coast of northern China, near the Korean peninsula. This trade network explains how batches of Roman copper coins could reach Chinese ports less than a year after they were loaded aboard Byzantine ships in the Red Sea harbours of Egypt. Connections between China and Japan increased during the Asuka era, 6th to 8th centuries AD, as Buddhism reached the island from neighbouring Korea. Buddhist institutions were often established close to royal sites to gain influence and acquire state patronage. As part of their religious practices, Buddhists sometimes deposited small votive offerings close to holy sites, and these artefacts often included unusual rare, antique or valuable objects. Many small-scale Roman coin finds in northern India were discovered near Buddhist shrines, and perhaps this explains how Roman copper coins 
came to be buried at sites in Japan. Buddhist merchants, missionaries or travellers from China would have brought foreign coins to Japan among their trade goods, personal belongings, curios or keepsakes. So that is one suggestion as to how Roman copper coins came to be deposited under a castle on an island in Japan. For further information, subscribe to my channel and follow the links to my books, The Roman Empire and the Indian Ocean and The Roman Empire and the Silk Roots. Thank you.